Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are in Barcelona and we are finally getting the courage together to go to the gym. Very exciting stuff. Let's check in on Anna, see how she's doing. Oh God, it's going great. Getting ready. Excited for the gym? Yeah. We're gonna try to make this a habit, a thing that we do all the time. Every morning. Even though I don't want to do it, and I'm not happy about it, <laughs> but we're going to the gym. Let's go! Let's go. Okay, so the gym was really nice. Um, we went to two gyms. The first one we sat at the front desk for about five or 10 minutes and were ignored, so that was kind of annoying. Uh, the second gym we went to is called Viva Gym. That's actually really great. Uh, it's maybe like a 10 minute walk from my place, so super psyched to start using that. Um, as you can't tell, uh, I don't have my glasses on, so <laughs> what I'm doing right now is I'm going to walk to the art supply store to get some glue, try to fix my glasses. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see if we can find some. Walking through our neighborhood in Barcelona, I'm actually really shocked at how quiet it is. Um, let's, let's actually just take a listen to what's going on around us. I think you can only hear some cars. Of course, now it gets loud, but generally speaking, it's pretty quiet over here. But, and of course, by the main street, it is a little bit louder, so you'll probably hear some more traffic over here. That being said, our neighborhood is fairly quiet. We've got everything within maybe like a five to 10 minute walking distance of us. Um, I really like it. Okay, and just like that, chore completed. We've got our glue. We're gonna go back, super glue the glasses, and hopefully we'll be seeing pretty shortly. Made it back home, getting into our elevator. We are on the third floor, so I'll show you our rooftop little situation once I get my glasses fixed, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so I fixed my glasses, a little bit of glue, never hurt anything. Wanted to show y'all the outside area of our Airbnb. We've got this nice little terrace. You can be seated in the area over here. Upstairs. The Airbnb host is like, you need to water the plants every day, which I think is a bit of a tall ask for somebody who's paying to stay here. But I mean, he's got a lot of plants. So this is like our upper area. We've got like some chairs, cool stuff. Pretty decent views of the city, so this is home for the next month. Off to do some groceries, but not too much because I think that's the hardest thing about traveling now is that we're so used to back home doing like grocery hauls at like Costco and Trader Joe's and like packing up the car full of stuff. So now we go like every couple of days, like I said, every day or every two days. Uh -huh. And we just get like what we need for that day or the couple of days. So we'll just be picking up a couple of things today. Go first. Do you want to go to the Cappy Bro? You want to go to the fancy place? We can, which one's closer? Uh, I mean, the is Logistically, right. what makes more sense? <laughs> Let's go to the fancy place and okay. then we'll go to the place by the gym. Yeah, that sounds good okay. to me. I don't know the name of the fancy place. I don't remember it. Well, I don't remember the name of it either. It does kind of remind me of like Whole Foods, but you'll see in a moment what the fancy place is. <laughs> You want to get a card or no? A card? A card. Oh no, I don't think we need
papaya? I don't think we need papaya today. Chips. We have fruit at home, I think. I have strawberries. We got strawberries. <laughs> So then am I supposed to get two packages? Or are we getting one package? Okay, we'll just get the one. <laughs> I think we can do this whole 12 pack of quail eggs to make an omelet. <laughs> That's an expensive omelet. <laughs> so all we have left to get is bread because they didn't have a bakery section at this one. And I do want to get that fresh orange juice though. Let's do it. Not too bad. It's pretty good. So it's very busy in that last grocery store. I don't think I've ever seen it that busy, but we have a couple extra things to pick up that they don't have. So now we're gonna go to another grocery store. got chips at the last place. <laughs> this place reminds me of Aldi back home. It's still very nice. I was like, why are you hating on Aldi? Aldi great is great. Yeah, Aldi's great. 
So over here we need salmon. Yep. Bread. Yep. And juice. Yep. Right? Oh, and we have to get soy sauce for the salmon. Soy sauce. Okay. Let's go. It's warm. This is the warmest bread that I've gotten off the shelf. They like just made it. They had to. It's hot. It's just come out. Hell yeah. Great time. Best time. So these are the store bought um, tortilla patatas. These probably aren't as good as the ones in the restaurant, but still a good quick fix. So we discovered this sauce upon our first night out. It's called Salsa Brava. It is the most delicious sauce you can put on potatoes, hot dogs, and more. It's still fresh. It's fresh just enough for me. Yeah, it's just not coming from the butcher. Huh? Is that the medium sized one? Yeah. yeah. This is the first time that we had ever seen one of these juice machines not in a restaurant, so we had to try it. Look at it squeezing all those. So this is all the horseshoes we have. <laughs> we squeezed the last orange. It's okay, they'll refill it. They're coming back. <laughs> Ready? Now the machine is full of oranges. What are you doing? Okay, let's go. Of orange juice. Oh, <laughs> it was so much. That's some full orange juice. So How many oranges do you think that squeezed into the top? <laughs> So that worked out perfectly because we had exactly 85 cents left and this was 82 or no 83 so i was like here you go perfect now i don't have like random euro change in my wallet <laughs> <laughs> we just got back from the store so let us show you what we got all right so these are all the things that we got like i said before here in barcelona majority of europe that we where we've been doing groceries we've been doing it only for like a day or two what nick and i do plan on making out of these just to kind of give you guys an idea we're going to be having salmon tonight with like a salad with some cucumbers and tomatoes and we're going to make our own dressing and then we'll have like a side of rice with it i got berries for snacks because they're my favorite thing and i can eat all of them we got some ham and then fresh bread, which I know Nick was really excited about. And we'll be making typical like Spanish, like ham and cheese sandwiches later. So that's another meal. We got just some crumpled up bacon. Uh, Nick likes to make us eggs and bacon in the morning, like a little bit of an omelet. So this is for breakfast. More snacks, orange juice, cause it's fresh orange juice and you can't go wrong with that. And then we just got soy sauce cause we're gonna be making like a soy honey salmon. So. This is all that we got, and like I said, it'll probably last us about a day or two. 
So when we first started off our travels, I obviously was like, all right, we're gonna take a reusable bag with us when we do groceries. And Nick's mom gave me this lovely Harry Potter one. Thanks, Angie, I appreciate it. But what has happened across several times of us getting groceries is same thing as all of you probably, even when you have your car, you go to the grocery store. We'll keep forgetting our reusable bags. So these are the other two that we've like bought at grocery stores because we need something to carry stuff back home. But all I gotta say is, that's a nice bag. It's a very nice bag. And that's a nice bag, that's, so. They're all good bags. They're all good bags. <laughs> so they'll just keep going with us as we travel along. <laughs> As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this week's grocery haul content, let us know in the comments. Next week, we're gonna be riding on bikes around the city and Anna's friend Emily is coming out to visit while we take some cooking classes. See you next week.